What are the odds an elemental called the Shadow Manipulator can't fly? Because he's really high up there. Like, if I could take out all these little idiots on the ground, maybe just 1v1 them with a bunch of radiant glaives, then we could all laugh as he falls to his death? My units do that all the time. Why can't theirs? Why do theirs teleport down instantly and then shove swords in one hole and out the other before you can realize? He's like the Taco Bell of blades. He didn't even manipulate any shadows. What do you mean? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, that game that I could safely say is one of the most unpredictable experiences that I've ever had when making videos. You just have no idea if it's going to open with a knight fighting a pirate, or a spartan fighting a samurai, or a soldier and a catapult trying to figure out how to make love to one another. Yeah, when you throw Cupid in the mix, everything kind of gets reversed. A totally accurate battle simulator becomes somewhat inaccurate marriage prototype, which is a pretty bad name for a game. And I would imagine that Tabs is a whole lot better for branding than Simp. I was about to say I'm going to try my best to stop people from shoving their dicks into siege weapons today, but I don't want to make any promises that I can't keep because I have no idea what to expect here. Like, this is another custom campaign called The Conquest for the Elementalists, where I think the backstory is that our kingdom is under attack, but we're not strong enough to defend it yet. So we need to go out into the world and try to recruit these elemental units to fight for us. Yeah, apparently this is the almighty Earthbender. Maybe? I don't really see it, you know, it just kind of looks like Luigi retired from the Blue Man group to become a pantsless hillbilly. I know I mention this like every time I play tabs, but do you think type advantage is finally going to come into play here? Because it's about the elementals? If they're going to be sending out guys that are interested in dirt and plants and dressed up in kindling, then I don't suppose I should just use fire? Because I can afford a dragon, or two, or three. And then maybe I'll be dragging these nuts all up and down your elemental chin. How do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, that would be the whole earth bending thing. Turns out it just kind of makes it rain boulders. Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, uh, ladies, this is fine. Even if the dragon dies, then we could still slap the piss out of him, I suppose. <laughs> What's the worst he could do? A little spiky front flip? No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. We're not worried about telephone pole enemas. Probably should be though. Well, here's a question that I never thought I would ask in tabs. Which unit do you think has the most puckered butthole for this situation? <laughs> Leave a comment with your recommendation. I mean, I I'm not gonna be able to use it now, but I'm still interested in what people's opinion is on tabs anuses. I could try something like bomb throwers, but I get the feeling that they're just gonna blow each other up. So, I might also want to put a cannon in there. Okay, yeah, now we're getting somewhere. If the cannon can avoid shooting the dummies. Oh, we blew up the dummies. That was perfect. You guys actually nailed it there. So the cannon is going to push him back, and then the bomb throwers are going to blow him up. That sounds like a pretty good strategy. Come on, pirates, you got this. He's just some kind of ancient earth elemental. What's to worry about? We've got human ingenuity. Make things go boom, or give him a concussion, whatever works. I should probably have health bars turned on because these are kind of like boss fights, but at the same time, I like wondering. You know, am I ahead? Am I doing absolutely no damage to him? There's no telling, he's having a hard time standing up. We're doing a great job blowing up his ankles. All right, last shot, and it was a lost cause. I really thought we had it there, but turns out he's better at firing salvos than we are. I feel like we may have actually been onto something there. Like, right idea, but wrong execution. I could save a whole lot of money by using the barrel rollers instead of the bomb throwers, because that should still blow up eight of our nine problems and then just leave us with the elemental. And enough money for me to either get Thor or a couple of Ballista, which is a Real tough choice. It's like, on the one hand, if we don't manage to kamikaze all of these little damage soakers, then the ballista is gonna focus them. And I'm pretty sure they could survive a shot. 
But on the other hand, I don't know if Thor can 1v1 this guy. I'm gonna try the Ballista. I, I think this might actually pan out, so long as they don't get hit with boulders. I could also put down a, a couple of dumb little shield guys to get hit with the boulders right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, the kamikazes went well. The boulders did not come down on the ballistas. Now we just need to hit that guy. I think we hit him, but he survived. How does he survive a ballista shot? Can you just hit him again to make good and sure? You have got to be kidding me. Am I getting pranked right now? Like, is Ash Ketchum? Why did I just say Ash Ketchum? I mean, I meant Ashton Kutcher. Oh my God, my brain is actually frying in my head right now. <laughs> it's so warm in here that I can't even remember stupid TV show references. <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. Either way, that guy got a telephone pole in the taint. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, now you know how it feels. Why wouldn't we recruit this guy before going after the Earth Elemental? He would have been really handy. It's called Flaming Fury. And I'm guessing that would make you the Fire Elemental? Part of me wants to make fun of him because he looks a little weird and poor. Maybe a little hot under the collar, a little bit horny, if you know what I mean. But I, I probably shouldn't, since there's a good chance he's going to treat my anus like a Stretch Armstrong. Now, I know a whole bunch of you guys are probably expecting me to use some kind of water unit, or an ice unit, or an air unit. But I'm actually thinking we go with Snuffy. <laughs> because as soon as they smell burnt mammoth fur, they may very well just give up. And then I've even got money left over, so we could back him up with some healers and make him holy snuffy. <laughs> a super unit that we haven't seen in a very long time. I have complete and total faith in holy snuffy's ability to do a barrel roll. Uh, snuffy? Now isn't the time to take a nap under the ground. Wow. He just got smoked, and I didn't mean for that to be a pun. How do you cook a mammoth from the inside out like that? All right, you know what, fine. I thought that was actually pretty creative, but if that's how things are gonna be, then we're just gonna use air. I, I don't know why I suggested ice earlier, because clearly fire is just gonna melt it. But if we can keep him juggled in the air for long enough, then he might not be able to toast our buns. Way to go, guys. Did it come crashing back down to Earth in a flamey meteor that then you guys are going to walk over? Okay, can we maybe not stand directly underneath where he's going to land? Because that's a problem. Once he comes back down to Earth, if he survives, then he's going to hurt you. Is he coming back? Honestly, though, oh, he's under the map, isn't he? God damn it. He hit the ground so hard that he just clipped into hell, and now we're all left, what, docking in celebration? This isn't a win, it's a draw! Run it back, I'm not ready to give up on this idea yet. Okay, it is working, we just need a little luck for him to bounce off the ground rather than disappear underneath it. You would think that using hydrogen or helium against fire wouldn't be such a great idea, but... You can't really argue with the results. Okay, well, so far so good. He's above ground. Can't say the same for my army, though. Guys, could we maybe get a little bit more height on him? Just enough to break that neck. Why are you all crawling underneath him? I, I don't want you moving any closer. Please, please stop. Oh, they're so dumb. <gasps> Why? Honestly? I don't get it. It's the Hindenburg all over again. Oh, what the hell? Never mind, we actually won that! <laughs> I just assumed that they all got torched and that we were nowhere close. That was a photo finish. I guess that means we get to move on to Ice Cold. But I don't get to use the Fire Elemental yet. I guess I just need to recruit them all and then they'll come back to my kingdom and help me defend. This is a weird one though. Kind of looks like Elsa decided to drop the tits and pick up a battle axe instead. We've got her surrounded, so that's a good start. So I kind of think the Mad Mechanic might do a great job here, because he's got the Hellfire, so we should be able to reduce her to a puddle. <laughs> really get her wet, as in a puddle, okay? Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> Come on, boys, you got this team up on her. You just gotta avoid feeling a little chilly-willy. Okay, she is uh, very good at the whole ice 
bending thing, and she's got friends. <laughs> of course she's got ice mages. Of course she's a Disney princess, so she's got woodland critters coming to her aid. <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me right now. Did we... Oh, we actually got her. Okay, so if you guys can actually take out her little minions, then... Oh, no. No, so close. The Mad Mechanics actually did do a pretty good job there, but I'm gonna cut back on two of them and toss a Ballista over here, maybe? Somewhere safe? So that it can possibly pick off the Elemental right off the bat? Oh, you're actually aiming for her! Way to go! <laughs> She's not getting back up from that, right? She's actually dead. Holy crap, that worked! <laughs> now we have no problem taking care of the rest, if fire doesn't get to them, then I'm sure the ballista will sooner rather than later. I should have gotten a cheerleader or two. It would have made the waiting much easier. Oh. Wait, this this is going to be close. This is going to be really close. Please shoot. Please shoot now before you get cold. Like, right now. Okay. <laughs> Again, right down to the last second. Oh, I don't like the look of this one. It's called Thundering Troop. And it looks like they've combined Zeus and a Storm Lich. So is it going to be able to throw lightning and summon storms? Because that's a serious problem. I've actually got a shocking amount of money here. And again, that wasn't meant to be a pun. But like, I could use a Void Monarch as well as a Chronomancer. And then possibly a couple of hay balers in the middle so that they don't get immediately shocked. Something like that. I just want them to take a, a little bit of spear damage so that they transform. Okay, that's a little bit too much spear damage. <laughs> no. Okay, well, we got the demon. That's fine. Maybe. I'm seeing a lot of bodies coming out of that cloud, but uh, not a lot of holy ones. Damn it. What happened to the Chronomancer? How does he lose to pointy sticks? If I try that again with a bird running distraction, would you be able to survive long enough to be useful? I really do appreciate the fact that you're freezing units in time. That's all fine and dandy, but this time we lost the demon. Why? I don't understand. Okay, well maybe you're gonna be strong enough to survive? You should be able to freeze them solid, and then they can't hurt you. Could you freeze something? Freeze anything. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're wearing your white pants. We really do not need to be electrocuted to the point of voiding our bowels. I, I don't understand how I can't have both. Why is it that one dies every time? You know what? I'm just going to keep running it until they both survive, because there has to be a point where they don't die. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, okay, we got the demon. Now... We've got the Chronomancer, perfect. If this doesn't work, then it's my own damn fault. But I tried my best here. Okay, I know you two usually aren't big fans of one another, but if you could settle your differences and just kill that monstrosity on the stairs, there we go. You got him, both of you are alive. Perfect. See, you just need to run the same thing over and over and over again because it's a totally accurate battle simulator. So far, so good. I mean, I don't know how things are going back at the kingdom because this is taking a while, but we've got a whole bunch of elemental units to fight for us. Hopefully, we can also add the winged warrior, who I would assume is an air elemental hanging out on a map where it's very easy to fall off, nonetheless get blown off. I don't think I want to be anywhere near this thing, so how about I just put a couple of dead eyes on each side of the map so that it can't get to all of us, and they'll be in the middle of the ground, so there's no way that they're gonna walk off the edge, right? <laughs> I say that, but Tabs is always a surprise. Okay, good first shots. It's got the tornadoes, but we expected a couple of casual tees. Oh, he shot him right in the ass. For a second, I thought it duplicated itself there, but <laughs> turns out bullets are really effective against angelic diapers. I was about to say, it feels good to actually win one, like right off the bat, decisively. Get a little wind into your sails, so to speak. But now we have to face off against the shadow manipulator and it's starting to feel like all that wind was just a fart. 
What are the odds an elemental called the Shadow Manipulator can't fly? Because he's really high up there. Like, if I could take out all these little idiots on the ground, maybe just 1v1 them with a bunch of radiant glaives, then we could all laugh as he falls to his death? My units do that all the time. Why can't theirs? Why do theirs teleport down instantly and then shove swords in one hole and out the other before you can realize? He's like the Taco Bell of blades. He didn't even manipulate any shadows. What do you mean? Oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet that he acts like a super-powered shadow walker. I mean, that's why he didn't have to fly. He could just appear behind us, and I know a whole lot about stupid teleporting in this game, so I might be able to exploit that. Like, if I put a hobbit right over here in the corner, he's just so juicy that you can't resist him. <laughs> he's gonna jump over here, leaving his army behind, and then we'd be able to ambush him? Like, if I put down a couple of dead eyes up here, and, uh, oh, come on, come on, I know, I know I've got the money for more, there, that'll work. Then what are we gonna do about the army that's coming? We still need to beat all of those big burly ladies. Hoplites, maybe? Just surround him with the hoplites? He's gonna go for the hobbit, I'm sure of it. <laughs> like 45% like sure of it. Come on, jump at the hobbit, yes! Oh, uh, one of the dead eyes jumped off. Okay, that's fine. As long as you can shoot from up there, then you're safe. As long as you can hit him from up there, then we're good. Please, please hit him, for the love of God. Oh, oh, if he falls off the map, that would be fine, too. Well, we got him, but that wasn't what I was really hoping for. <laughs> Who's alive right now? We clearly have somebody who survived. Oh, I still have a dead eye somewhere. She lived. That's not her. Who's alive? I was right. We do actually have a survivor, but the bad news is her back is broken. She can still speak and blink Morse codes. I don't know why she would need to do that if she can speak, but if I take control of you, can I uh, maybe get you to... Okay, that's great, but could you try walking? No, those legs are completely foobar. So I guess this is another draw. How does this keep happening? Let's try repositioning these dead eyes, shall we? We could do something like that. We've got him going exactly where we want him. We just need to shoot him. Oh my God, ladies, please. All you have to do is shoot the giant winged demon like that, just like that. Just keep doing that. It's great. You're doing so much damage to him. I would imagine he's done. Perfect. You're, you're probably dead, right? Yeah, that sword makes me think you're dead. Okay, well, now you just got an army to deal with. Oh, all the hoplites died, huh? That's not great. Actually, I'm, I'm taking control of you. We're backing up, because you're not smart enough to back up on your own. We could actually win this if you aim at all. Oh my god, dead eye or cock eye? This is bad, this is this is so bad. 1v1, come on, bitch. I got you to where I want you. Oh, no, 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 get up, get up, dodge, dodge. Why don't you dodge? I can't believe she missed. I'm replacing the Hobbit with something that can actually fight, being more Spartans. And then I've got 900 left over. I'm putting a ballista over here, screw it. We are gonna hit this guy one way or another. Please hit him. Please, yes. Maybe, oh, he's dead. He's good and dead. And we've even got a couple of Hoplites left over. That's the ticket. Okay, could you kill a bunch of these guys? Don't stand in front of the ballista, you jackasses. What is wrong with you? Just, uh, shoot, shoot. Okay, we got bullets coming from somewhere. I mean, if you, really? What are you shooting at, huh? Well, you, you're shooting over there? What's over there? Oh my God. Okay, we just got to swing it around. Swing, there we go, and fire. Not close enough. No, we're, we're not taking close enoughs today. Thank you. I'm safe up here though. Safe from missing over and over again. I got a friend to my left who might be able to get the job done. Thank you. What is wrong with you and his today? Honestly, if they're not falling through the ground, they're breaking their spines, or they forgot their glasses, it just doesn't make any sense. So we've got earth, fire, ice, air, darkness, and I would assume this is light. It's called divine savior. And I mean, 
definitely looks divine, but I get the feeling he's not gonna be doing any saving of me. Can I go out of my way to say that I feel personally attacked? Because whoever made this campaign got rid of the legacy faction for these levels, specifically because they knew people like me would just use the barrel roller to clear out all of the idiots. <laughs> it's such a good strategy. Maybe they forgot to remove the present elf? Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and break this real quick. I'm also going to use a couple of cheerleaders to get these elves in the mood. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. There's no telling what I'm going to get. I have complete and total faith in the elves. I mean, I could get my own chronomancer or maybe some of the elementals that I've been waiting to use. We got, uh, oh, uh, oh, we got a, a little bit of everything. We got a safe. We got a panchi. Is that what it is? Maybe? Possibly? We got a, a sword caster? Pretty good. All right, elves, keep it up. We got a captain? That's a bunch of big units. <laughs> Not too bad at all. Now, throw some more presents. We, we, we really need more. This, this isn't gonna work, guys. Oh, what the hell? Guys, come on. No. <laughs> Not like this. All we have left are cheerleaders. And they're cheering on the one lone elf. Oh, oof. Mm, come on, you're, you're already dead. Why am I even trying? <laughs> This, this is bad. Is somebody hiding in the safe? What, what's happening right now? <laughs> There's nobody alive. Who are you trying to blow up other than my remaining cheerleaders? <laughs> I really thought we were going to be onto something there. I kind of want to try that again because like, we could get lucky. Who knows what could be in those boxes? Maybe the cheerleaders aren't the greatest idea. What if we went with a whole bunch of present elves but then topped it off with a couple of cupids. I'd imagine that the divine savior might have a little change of heart if he got horny. <laughs> Come on, presents, show me what you got. Santa, I really want a frost giant or Artemis. I could, I could use a god right about now. There's gotta be something in one of these friggin' boxes. <laughs> oh, we got an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing a sacred elephant pop out of one of those tiny little gift wrappings is hilarious. Is that a ninja or a... Oh, it's dead. It doesn't even matter. Who am I kidding? Come on, Cupid. You have to get through a shield. Oh, crap. No, no. Mm, Cupid got evaporated. That's bad. Presents? Any more presents? Oh, we still got the elephant. Okay, good. Yeah, elephant and Cupid. I'm sure this is going to go a long way. <laughs> Why don't the presents work? Like, why don't I ever get the strongest unit? <laughs> if, oh, I just realized, if I keep doing this, there's a chance I could get, like, a, a super peasant or a dark peasant or, like, one of the ones that cost almost infinity. Um, is there uh, anyone alive? When are you alive? Oh, I think you're probably, no, you're dead. Marco, who's speaking right now? Is somebody underneath the ground? You, you seriously... <gasps> He tripped on the first stair and broke his back. Again! How does this keep happening? I keep running the present elf over and over and over again. I'm not getting any luck. So I guess if I want an Artemis, I could just buy one myself rather than ask for it for Christmas. It's not nearly as good, though, because I'm spending 5500 on it rather than 500 I got all these stupid little hobbits in front because, well, I'm totally okay with them dying, but more importantly, I, I want them to soak up the damage. Artemis needs to not get hit. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, those cheerleaders make a big difference, huh? <laughs> all right, well, good. And we've got a bunch of surviving hobbits. Yes, hobbits, soak up the damage. Buy Artemis time to absolutely pincushion this thing. <gasps> How did that work? Like, it wasn't nearly as good as the elves, but it's just flawless. All right, you know what I think? That's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. I think we've done it. I think we've recruited all of the elementals. We've got earth, wind, fire, water, slash ice, whatever you want to call it, light, and darkness. So now we should be able to defend the kingdom from all of the little tabs invaders. If you guys want to see that, so if you want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to walk my way to victory over tiny bodies again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.